were looking for a house that we could renovate and really make our own. I knew that we would be able to put our own mark on it. Although on the outside is a Victorian house, the inside had had all its original features stripped out, so it gave us an opportunity to create a house that was exactly to our taste. So we ended up completely gutting the whole house so that only the fascia remains from the original house. And then all the rest of it, we were able to design exactly as we liked, which gave the architect the opportunity to have the house open from front to back. It meant that we can have this large open space in what's otherwise a Victorian terrace house. It becomes a very secret and uh, calm, restful place because it has got so such a good rhythm and uh, even floor levels and good light front to back, which totally changes the feel of the house, I think. I wanted to have a house that was calm and an oasis against the London backdrops. I chose a very plain decorative scheme in the house because I wanted it to be a calm space. Um, and also because the house is largely open plan, so I wanted to have, and very high, it's over six floors, so I really wanted to have a sense of flow. The kitchen space is the main space that we spend our time as a family, and it's large and open and got sharp lines, which I like with the built-up kitchen, and we have the dining table down there, as well as a sort of informal breakfast area for the children to eat at. And it opens onto the garden, so we spend a lot of time in that space. On the upper ground floor, we've got the formal entertaining space with the entrance hallway where we put the crittle screen, allowing light again to pass through. And we furnished it with lots of sofas and um, seating areas so that we can entertain and it runs through into my study so I get to look back through the room which is a nice aspect as well as I can look onto the garden from my work area and uh, I created this sort of cosy space for me to work within but it's still light and bright. I think my favourite thing in the house is the master bathroom <laughs> because it is the beautiful marble finishes, I love the roll top bath I love the flooring and the calm and the light fittings that we've chosen and it is an oasis or an escape to, for me to go and have a peaceful bath away from the rest of the family. And uh, we have our bedroom that goes off a walk-in dressing room, so I feel quite lucky to have that space because it's definitely a luxury. The basement area is the children's playroom but also it's our sort of snug area and family place to chill out where we can watch movies and relax together. The biggest decision that we changed our minds on quite late on in the build was the flooring. And we'd originally planned to lay a chevron floor throughout the house and there's a huge num number of floors with wooden, wooden flooring laid down and realised that this was going to be a far too complicated scheme. And I'd secretly been hankering after Denison floorboards and discussed it with my husband and we decided to completely change. And I'm really happy that we did because it sets the aesthetic for the whole house. And actually when it came to then choosing paint colours and designing the, the, the fabrics and all the finishes, everything takes its cue from the simplicity and the natural flooring. The top floor of the house has a completely different atmosphere to the rest of the house because it has these wonderful panoramic views over London and we were able to put in this huge glazing, glazed wall so you look out across the skyline. After the long and slightly manic build process, we are now settled here and I'm really delighted with how the aesthetic has come together and it's this calm and peaceful space, exactly as I hoped it might be.